I'm excited to show you Gearset's Compare Now. We're going to compare a sandbox to a production organisation and cherry pick the changes that I need to deploy. Clicking Compare Now instantly compares these two organisations. I'm going to start by looking for changes that I've made recently. To start with, I'll look for changes made in the last seven days. Then I'm going to get a little bit more specific. I'm going to start with fields, layouts, profiles, triggers, and flows. Let's start by looking for my new field. I can see here that my field was most recently updated by my user. Salesforce orgs have hierarchical dependencies. I can identify these here. My field is used by this Apex trigger and is accessible through the account layout. I've already included my Apex trigger, but for the layout, I want to easily cherry pick the specific section that I've updated without touching the changes made by my colleagues. I also want to update the field left security for my field. We can see here that in the same way I can cherry pick specific sections of the layout, I can cherry pick the specific field left securities on each profile for my updates. Finally, I want to update my new flow. Browsing through the flow using the flow navigator allows me to quickly identify the components that make up this flow. I notice that one of the decisions is incorrect. So I'll update that in my sandbox first and then refresh the flow. After the refresh, I can confirm that it's now correct and that I can deploy it. After all my items are selected, Gearset uses intelligent analysis to check that this deployment has everything that it needs. Here, we can see that the flow I selected depended on three fields that I forgot to include. Gearset allows me to automatically correct that by clicking Add Missing Components. Gearset has also highlighted that I've forgotten the field left security for my new field. Including these makes sure that the FLS is updated and users can access the new field after the deployment. Finally, I'm going to add a note to make sure that the purpose for my deployment is clear to my colleagues in the deployment history. For my final step, I'm going to make sure that my flow is automatically activated post-deployment. Finally, I'm going to click Validate. 